And tonight we continue our coverage of the deadly storm that tore through Brunswick County Monday night. Several people have talked about the lack of warning. Sydney Bouchelle spoke to the National Weather Service about it today. Sydney, what were you able to find out? Hi guys, well from what it seems like, it seems like it was a combination of a lot of things from how quickly the storm formed and how fast it was moving to the time of day that it occurred. When you look back at the tornado history in Brunswick County, this unfortunately is the strongest one that we have on record since the 50s. Monday night's devastating storm formed in a matter of minutes, claiming lives and destroying homes. Many asking now why there wasn't more of a warning. Stephen Papp, a warning coordination meteorologist for the National Weather Service, says it's a combination of several things. The time of the, of the day uh, was critical. Uh, most people's situational awareness was at an all-time low. The fact that it was moving at 50 to 60 miles per hour, unfortunately, it was it was a culmination of, of rapid intensification and quick movement that posed to be problematic. This weather event also raises concern for the Doppler radar in Shalote. Since being built in 1994, the trees in the area have grown substantially, causing something called beam blockage. The only viable solution, relocating the radar, which is a multi-million dollar project, but PAF says they are working on it. Each and every one of them, if they can take that radar out of the ground, carry it on their backs and move it right now, they would do so. PAF says it is difficult to determine if the beam blockage played a role Monday night. Uh, we had very viable radar data above 1,200 feet in this case because it was so close to the radar. Saying radar operators don't look at just one section to make warning decisions. They're looking at the whole volume scan of data and also supported by radars from Moorhead City or in, in Charleston, that, that network that helps provide additional information. Satellite data is also essential in tracking storm systems. Again, FAF says that this is something that the National Weather Service is aware of, and even though there are systems in place to help strengthen their data, they are working to get budget proposals together to get that more than $5 million needed to get the radar moved and put in a better location. Reporting live in Brunswick County, Sydney Bouchelle, WWAY News. Good information. Thank you, Sydney.